you know what this means. Are you ready? Are you ready for a Timu haul? Let's get ready for an unboxing. Guess what came in the mail today? Let's open this puppy. I've got a different setup here and I, it's not, it's much sturdier. So I think I'm gonna like this. Okay. Oh, I can feel it. I know what this is. Dun, dun, dun. Nice. It is a soft cover. This is a sketchbook. This I got for a dollar seventy nine. It was on special. It was on one of their lightning specials or and I grabbed it when it was on sale because I knew I was wanting to try one anyway. I am on the hunt for the perfect sketchbook that does not cost me an arm and a leg. Let's see what we got here. These scissors are terrible. By the way, I am a Timu affiliate now. So I'll put the code on the screen. If you have never used Timu, uh, there is a link that you can, I'll put in the description that gets you 30% off of your first order. And if you already use Timu, the code will get you 20% uh, off. So that is in. Uh, there's a quote on here. Nope, it just says who Van Gogh is. So let's see what this is like. It's not real heavy paper, but it's certainly, and see, you can see my... But for a dollar seventy-nine. I am not gonna holler. It, it'll it'll work well for sketches. I really love the cover. So again, I paid a dollar seventy nine for that. Uh, you can get these now. When I looked this afternoon, they had three styles, three different ones, and they are five ninety eight on the on the website. I feel something. Oh, two things. This is oil pastel paper. There are 30 sheets in here. Very nicely packaged. I don't know what qualifies as oil pastel paper. I don't know if it's sealed, if it's a little heavier, or what the qualifications are. Let me see here. The sheets aren't as big as I thought they would be, but that's, that's fine. It is, it's, a, it's heavier than the paper that was in here, but again, you can, I don't know if you can see it on camera, <clears throat> but you can see with the light behind it, you can see my hand fairly easily. Those would be fun to play with. The paper was $3.98 for 30 sheets. And this looks like it's an A5 size. So 30 sheets, what would that be? 32, 33, 33 cents a sheet, something like that. Then you probably already saw this. I saw this on somebody else's and it looked like the perfect thing to keep my like little cords and things on, on this table. This is a container that, that goes flat. 
I can't speak Chinese, so. Let's see if we can get this. Get this. Okay, so those two go up. And then those snap in there. Oh, that's cool. This was a dollar thirty-eight. See, that's the perfect size to like put my microphone, my little plug-in microphone, maybe a pair of scissors, and just keep it here on this table. So that's that's neat. I like that. Again, that was this was a dollar thirty-eight, and it's collapsible. You can take these back out and just, so that's cool. It's not real big, but that's okay. I didn't need anything real big. And for $1.38, it, it looks much better than say having a cardboard box or something there, which is what I probably would have done. I wonder if you can put one side down, you know what I mean? So you have it like a, Oh, you kind of can. Yeah. Hmm. And that way I can just, see, I can just, I don't have to. Yeah, that's cool. Put that over there. And then, what's next? What's next? What's next? I know what this is. Oh, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. This is an enamel pin that looks like the color wheel. This was $3 and 14 cents. It's a lot heavier than I thought it would be too. I thought this would look cute on my, my bag. Either my, you know, the bag I go to work, work on things at the library or Oh, that's cute. Look at that. That's so cute. Here, try it. it. It looks like a regular color wheel. That is awesome. I really like that. And it's got two of those. They, you can get this in either white or black. Let me put that up so you can. Is that not cute? And it's probably... About two inches wide. Yeah, about two inches wide. Look at that. That's cute. Sorry, I'm just, I think that's really neat. I like that. That was 314. And then, oh, I was, I was, safety. This is a set of tarot cards. It's called Quirky Creatives that I was really interested in. They look fun. These were these were $4.98. Get rid of all this stuff. You see this or this is let me open this. So this would be like the fool in the traditional tarot, Rider White tarot. This would be the magician. Nurturer of pins. <laughs> Artist of Pins. It says a complete 78 card tarot card deck illustrating the creative journey through a quirky lens. This looks like my kind, and it fits in my hand nice. It's not too big. Oh, I didn't see the, I see the top part of it. Artist of Records. Let's 
That looks really cute. What's next? Oh, I know what this is. This was one of those uh, pencil pouches. It's bigger than I pictured it. your all your pins and then push it down oh, it's got little handles too and it will it will stand up on your table so you can have all your pins and things in there but yet you can zip it up and carry it very nice. It's like a corduroy kind of on the bottom and then like a pleather on the top. It's got a nice little, this was $4.98 and it's got a lining on it that is not cloth. It's like a, um, an acrylic of some type. long enough you can put markers in there the longer pens or pencils and zip it up and then when you get you know if you're working somewhere like in a cafe or whatnot they'll stand up isn't that nice isn't that nifty I like that I know that there's I've seen other people with these and this is the first one I've ever bought and of those, so that's nice. Again, that was four ninety eight. These are erasers. It's by the brand Mains. It says highlight eraser pen. It's got a nice, nice feel to it. Let me sharpen this so we can see what it looks like. Yeah, I have a nice pencil sharpener and it left a, it created a strange tip on it. But I suppose you could just snip that. And it's still it still gives you a decent, and there are, there's six of these in here. Let's see how well they erase. Let's just use a page in here. And I'll go to the back. I like the texture of this paper, by the way. Okay. And I've made a mistake. Oh no, let me erase it. It's coming right up there. What if I had just like a little area that I wanted to erase though? And I'm not pushing down with the, the pencil there, with the graphite pencil. That's how it. I like that though. This to me, it hold. It feels in your hand. It feels nice. You know what I mean? It's not for a package of six of those. They were a dollar forty-eight for this box. Woo! Get in there. To me, they don't feel cheaply made either. 
it has the, the nice end of, on it, sort of like the Derwent pencils do up here at the top part. It did take off a lot of it by putting it in the pencil sharpener. Um, it's that much shorter. But I did put it in there twice. Those are interesting. See, that'll be nice to carry with this and this. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's see what else we got here in here. What else do we have? Aha! Uh -huh. This was interesting. This was called an Eternity Pencil. Eternal, eternal pencil. And it was a dollar, sorry about the crinkling. It was a dollar 48. It's supposed to be how I took it. Let me get this out of here and then I'll talk. It feels, it feels cheaply made. I will say that. I don't know what that's made out of. supposed to be yeah it's supposed to last you don't have to sharpen it you don't have to huh that's interesting though what is that made out of it doesn't say it just says that's yeah if it's true that you don't have to sharpen this, this would be really nice to take out and just do some quick sketches. And it looks like there's an eraser in here. Am I wrong? Well, yep, there's an eraser. How do you... Oh, I think that's supposed to fit in there. tighter than it does. This eraser feels much more, it feels like it's rougher on the paper. And see, it didn't come up totally. Let me get one of these. And No, it, it's it's um, it's not coming up totally. That's an interesting. This is interesting. Let's see what how it comes up. Just and is it making? No, it's not. It erases, it just doesn't give you a real dark mark. It's more like, I don't know, like maybe a 4H in general pencils. That's interesting. That's really interesting. I can't tell what that tip is made out of, but if anybody knows, uh, let me know because I'm curious. I wanted to go through the prices on these compared if you bought them on Amazon. The closest I could find to, to this on Amazon, it was in a sketchbook. It was not just loose leaf, but it was $10 for 30 sheets of this size. The pink pouch was, you could get one similar for $4.99. And I paid $4.98 with Zimu. The pencil, I saw these on Amazon where you could get them in sets of like four, six. One I saw you could get four of these for $10. The cards, 
the tarot cards were $22 on Amazon. Um, again, I'm not sure of the quality in comparison because I haven't I haven't seen the ones from these are fairly thin, but they're more these are more like playing cards. And if you've used tarot cards, you know they're usually bigger. They're usually larger and a little bit thicker. But um, I like these. So if these were $22 if they were the same quality, what I paid was $4.98. And then this, the color wheel pin, they had the same thing on Amazon for $3.99, and I paid $3.14. The sketchbook, they had the exact same one, and it was $6.49 on Amazon, and I paid $1.79, it was on a special, it is now $5.98 for one of these. But this was this was a good buy. Definitely a good buy. The erasers, the pencil erasers. These I paid $3.98 for, but you can get on Amazon. They looked exactly the same. They were $11.39 on Amazon. And then the crate. These again, these came in these came in sets. You could get you could get five of these of five different colors for eleven ninety nine and I paid a dollar thirty eight. And I went through and if I if I did the math right, I paid twenty five seventy one The shipping was free. Again, if you'd spent $25 on Amazon without Prime, your shipping would be free also. But if I did the math correctly on Amazon, this would have cost you $63.36. Uh, with price adjustments for what were in sets, I just divided the, divided the amount up. And again, if you if you've never ordered from Timu before, there's a link below where you can get 30% off. If you have ordered from Timu before, there is a code that you can put in to save an additional 20%. All right, thanks all. Bye.